So, we are here this afternoon because we want to dedicate this and thank everybody. Um, we have a long, long list of people that we'd like to thank. And um, we'll just start with the members of the Recreation Department, Judy Sumner's uh, director, uh, maintenance supervisor, J.R. Point. He's like born for this stuff because he knows how to do it all. There's nothing he won't try. <laughs> And 99% of what he does is like really good. And a lot of us try things and shouldn't. And um, so Lisa Como is the administrative assistant. Raise your hand when I say that. Don't be shy. Or I'll keep saying she's in the office. She's probably answering the phone. Did she help with the phone? Carol LeQuare is the pro. Uh, Carol is Carol. Carol LeQuare. Carol is not here. All right. Karen Tate is over there. I see her, Karen. Raise your hand. There you go. The camera. Office assistant. Uh, maintenance people, Bill Harrington, Vincent Palermo Jr., uh, Joe Poria Jr., Sally Poria, and Zach Orr. Raise your hand, wherever they are, they're coming yeah, down they're here. They're coming down, you see them in the right. All right, raise your hand. And our other able staff. Brad Proetti, and Employment Link staff, Cesar Cruz, Malcolm Weston, where are they? They're here. Oh, they're helping with parking. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> Well, why'd you tell me to thank him if they were here? Of course not. Zach, why are you leaving? working hard. All right. So is there anybody else that we have to thank that's not here? <laughs> All right. So let me um, just say that these projects take a lot of um, well, a lot of people to help. And that's why everybody's here, because we get a lot of people. Every project we do, everybody gets excited. We all wonder why we take on these projects sometimes, but at the end of the day, um, this, is the, this is the result. And they're fun, and they do good things for the city, they bring people together. And um, you know, today, uh, we gotta, it's a different world. We used to be able to take off with the bicycle and come back at night, and all those stories, the baseball bat, the glove, get up early in the morning, take off, you hear the bell, the whistle, you come home. It's not that way anymore. And so kids are more supervised, they um, have more adult-led um, supervision, more adult-led programs. I think we have more kids here in the rec department program this year than we've ever had. Um, so it, it, the world has changed. And I say, I used to uh, go to the playground uh, when I was just a kid. I used to go to Lancaster Street School, and there were two playground instructors. And you go there in the morning, you'd stay for a few hours, you'd go home at lunchtime. And you may or may not come back in the afternoon. And by 3 o'clock, the whole thing was over. And that's just not that way anymore. People are having to work. Both husband and wife, families are working. So kids are here early in the morning. What time? 7.30. 7.30 in the morning. They don't leave sometimes till 6, 7 o'clock at night, 5 o'clock at night. So the world's changed. And that, that means we have to administer medication for kids. It means everything. And there's more paperwork and requirements and government regulations. So the world has changed. So do these projects are a good thing because they bring people together and they provide good spaces for, for kids to, um, to grow in. I want to recognize, um, we have a couple of city councilors here today, Bob Sabatelli and Jen Lanciani, who um, couldn't be any more supportive of all the projects that we do. They never say no. 
they ask questions, good questions, but because those are, because they want to know what's going on. But everything we do, our partners are always there. They're always helping us out. We have a great city council. I know some of them were working, couldn't be here. Our council president is at, uh, with his mom right now um, and uh, taking care of her, so he couldn't come. But uh, again, all the way down the line uh, to the city council, thank you because it makes it so much easier to do these projects when we have a great city council that gets it. So thank you. And I want to ask, um, this project is a $400,000 grant through the Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs. And the city matches it with $188,000 of your taxpayers' dollars and state taxpayers' dollars of which you pay. And so I want to ask uh, our uh, state representative, Dennis Rosa, to come up and say a few words, if you could, please. I gotta tell you, when I got out of my car, I couldn't help myself. The first thing I said was, wow. I couldn't believe it. I swam here as a kid, like many of you. We had a great time. And then when they closed the pond for swimming, it went into like a stagnant uh, era for quite a while. But what the Recreation Commission and all the volunteers have done here is just incredible. This is really world class from what I see. And we were happy at the State House to provide some money through state and through your, uh, state taxes to help with this project. And I can tell you next year I'm going to be filing some amendments. I talked to Dick um, about doing maintenance here. And we need to set up a fund for maintenance. I'm, that's going to be one of my priorities next year. <laughs> and again, this is, this is a crown jewel of Lemonson now, no doubt. Uh, this will match any park in Massachusetts, and I've seen a lot of them. So I didn't plan on speaking. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for the volunteers. You make us, and you do us proud. Thank you. Thank you for all your help and support uh, in this project. So don't run away. We're going to cut the ribbon here. We've got some kids lined up. This thing's going to happen real quick because I'm the fast. No, not okay. Uh, we're going to continue to get this. We're not going to be here till 6 o'clock tonight. <laughs> we're not. We're going to do this. We're going to do it, and then people can walk around and enjoy it. Okay? I have a few more people. Just, we'll give you the microphone and you can, anybody that's left here and hasn't passed out, will be here. You get a chance to hear some more people want to hear, we're going to thank. But let me get on the list real quick because we do want to thank people. And since I'm the fastest talker in the land, here we go. I will leave the uh, Recreation Commission to the end where our chairperson, uh, Maureen uh, Donatelli, Mikey, will um, say a few words and also uh, introduce our members. DPW staff, please raise your hand. Don't act like you don't know who you are, or, because we know who you are. John Rosebury, um, Dave Smith, the foreman for the DPW, Kevin Iacconi, Jason Carr, Dan Gasso, Luke Bolio, Bolak, I'm sorry, Stevie Ricker, Dave Tucker, and James Clark. Raise your hand if you're here. Every time I'm looking for one of them, I'm here. And again, we're, we're blessed with, and, and, and really, I'm happy with the level of talent we have at the DPW. Again, there's nothing um, they won't do. In fact, I asked them to move Mount Wachusa a little closer so we can say <laughs> it's in limits. And they said, as soon as we get time, we'll, we'll start working on it. <laughs> wire Inspector Joe Poria Sr., Assistant Wire Project, uh, uh, Inspector C.J. Clutia, Purchasing Agent uh, Greg Chapdelaine, and Linda Sabatelli, Building Inspector Peter Nile and staff, Comptroller John Richard and staff, Treasurer David LaPlante and staff, Grant Writer Wendy Weeks, who absolutely none of this would happen. It's all about writing the grant, and she just knows how to write and say things. So guys, if you ever really wanted to say something like romantic and nice to your wife, <laughs> Wendy knows how to put it all together and give her. Forget the diamonds, everything else, she knows how to say it, and that's what helps us to get this grant and all the support that we're here. A conservation agent, um, Joe Antonato. Special thanks, Dick O'Brien, thank you for all your knowledge and help. George Klein, George Klein, I don't know if you're here, George, George thank you. Here. There you are, thank you, George. All your help. <laughs> Dick Allardyce, is Dick here today? I didn't see him, where are you, Dick? Dick, where are you? Dick, thank you. All you do.
a true scout, Dick. A true scout. Good job. You understand the the the, land, the, the law of the land here, and how important that nature is, and, and uh, our good treasures here. Um, let's see. Uh, Richard Thompson and Neil Wayne, Joe Larusso, Hal McFadden, Ann Seed, Otto Larry, Joe Larusso, Richard and um, Samantha Powers, uh, Eric Boudreau, and the, all of our volunteers from the uh, Massachusetts Trill. <laughs> Uh, conference and as well as the Christian Life Center that's here. Raise your hand, ladies and gentlemen. They are on a mission to do a hundred nice things and they're well on their way. But you do the nice things every day, so we appreciate that. So, all of those volunteers, all of the companies who, again, uh, we hire and we tell them what we, we expect them to do, and then you know, little by little, it gets away from what they were hired to do. <laughs> we're good at that. Next thing you know, they're not making so much money, but we say, but look at what, how nice it turned out. You can use this on your corporate portfolio and your, and your company uh, uh, annual report. Anyway, here it goes. Um, Leonard, uh, Andrew, Andrew Leonard and Associates. Andrew, thank you for work. Beautiful. Every time you get it right on. Right on. Whitman and Bingham, J Jamie Rowe and Anthony Cleese. Stumpy's Tree Service, Martin James and Anne Marie Jacobson, thank you. Uh, Leone Landscaping and Construction, Kevin Leone and staff, thank you. Great job. Hardwick Post and Bean, look at this place. I want to move in. Newell Pledgerish. Are they here? We're here. Well, don't leave without me talking about this. When we move the mountain, we're going to need a um, pavilion. Craig, Craig Bid, uh, Bridgman. Where's Craig? Okay. Thank you, Craig. Is it Bob Sleboda? Sleboda? Bob Sleboda, designer. David, designer. Oh, my word. <laughs> See, these guys came. David Thayer is here. Christian uh, Gudman and staff are all here. Thank you. These are all part of the construction and design team here. Uh, Campbell Ironworks, John Campbell. Not sure if you're here, John. Good job. North Star Roofing, John Lestella. Are you here, John? He's working. Dance paving, Mike and Sean uh, Magley and staff. We weren't sure we'd get it done. We were nervous, but they pulled it off. Uh, Lakeview Landscaping, Mark Bursch. Is he here, Mark? You here, Mark? The Gardener Spot, Neil Zaney. Neil, you here? Neil, thank you. He's right up there on um, Granite Street near the uh, high school. Uh, Crossstone, Inc., Joseph L L Livergood and Wayne Thibodeau. The pedestal's there. Beautiful. Haynes Lumber, uh, Fred Haynes, Hayes. s and Farms, Peter Reynolds, Home Depot, Powell Stone and Gravel, Sodco, Freedom's Way Heritage, Maud Aronson, Aeson, Blue Diamond Equipment Company, The Woodery, Mackey's, Dufresne Lumber, Addison, Ronald Roberio, Rayanne, and Mark Bridges. A performance for today, nice job. We could have sat closer. We could have sat closer. <laughs> Something you want to tell us? You guys, you fighting or anything? Because right. I can take care of that part. Okay, that's all I have to say. But again, I'm going to turn the microphone over. We did that in how many minutes? So it was very few minutes. But also, I want to thank the neighbors, the people that live around here. Um, they take ownership here. And um, this is a special piece of property here, this special piece of land that we have. And, um, you know, you haven't heard one car go by. Not one motorcycle, not one tractor trailer. Just very peaceful here. There aren't many places left in the world that are peaceful like this. And we just so happen to own our own orchard. And many, you know, lots of open space. We get it here. It's important. And lastly, let me just thank all of you, uh, the taxpayers of the city, because without you, just none of this would happen. And none of these projects would. And we always get your support when we do these projects. So, Judy, the rest is yours. Mikey Donatelli is the chair of the uh, Recreation Commission and she's going to introduce you. Uh, the rest of the commission members uh, that are here. And most of them are, are here, I think. So, what is it, Thank you, Mayor. Oh, okay. um, on behalf of our Recreation Commission, I welcome you all to this beautiful park and encourage you to come back again and again. I think you'll just see it's going to be growing more beautiful each time and each year. Uh, this is something that is just the beginning. We have other things we want to do. Um, I thank the Recreation Department, Judy, and her staff, 
all the uh, city workers and been an unbelievable effort to get this done very quickly and in a short amount of time with a, with a magnificent um, effort and result. Um, to introduce my, my colleagues here, I have, if you come forward, please, Jeff O'Neill is, is Vice Chair. Knowledge and experience, and Sunny, where's Sunny Chapentier? Yeah. Along with the commission and the recreation, the commission and the recreation staff really worked tremendously hard, and, and we all appreciate it. Uh, certainly, our, our commission does, and I know the city of Lebanon is going to enjoy this tremendously. So, thank you very much. Coming, everybody, and welcome to Bear Park. Um, I wanted to thank the mayor well, for all your support. Yes, okay. and, and the city council as well, and all and all the residents for all your support, financial and all the encouragement you've given us, and all of your visions. Everyone had visions for this park, um, but what you need to know is, you know, the vision all started with a lot of people giving their input, and then we hired um, Andrew Leonard. Um, and he put together a beautiful plan. It's, it's, it's spectacular. And uh, he, oh, he really worked hard on this. He, he saw, oversaw all the bid documents. He met with all the contractors on a daily basis. He worked nights and weekends. Um, he put a lot of time and effort into this. And Dick O'Brien had a vision for the trail, the bridge, the post and beam pavilions. He said, you really want to have something spectacular in this park. You want something that's a focal point. You really should contact Hardwick Post and Beam and have them build you a spectacular Post and Beam pavilion. So we are very fortunate that um, we were able to secure them to build this for us and for Dick's vision to see this um, in the park today. And uh, also for the Handicapped Accessible Trail. Um, that was a recommendation that he said that we really should look at doing and I know that there's a lot of people um, that uh, are appreciative of having it be handicapped accessible and we have Marty um, Turbide and Gail that have uh, advised us on this and the um, Disabilities Commission. Pat Obershawn. And Pat Obershawn in the back, <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, they had advised us on uh, various things that we need to uh, consider when building the handicap. Um, accessibility for this park. So I wanted to thank them for that. Uh, also, the Recreation Commission has met many, many hours just going over the plans and making final decisions on everything and tweaking everything. Uh, and uh, rolling the JR, our maintenance supervisor, like the mayor said, he can do anything. He has worked so many hours, days and nights and weekends, just to make this beautiful. sawed it and I said oh gosh I don't know that's gonna be a lot of money and I'm, I'm really pleased that we made that investment and did the sodding of it because Junior you had a great vision on seeing that this a beautiful sodded lawn out here it really looks nice uh, but I also have we also have another person it's Doug Cormier and he has been here like I say day and night and weekends he must come here Ten times a day, just to check to make sure any contract. He's a, you know, he's a licensed contractor. He makes sure if there's any questions contractors had throughout the project. Um, when I didn't you know, understand some of the contract uh, terminology, he sit down and said, "Let's get this ordered and let's get this done." So he was a great support, and the community is so fortunate to have Doug on. <laughs> Joe Poria Jr., Joe Poria Sr. and CJ, they said, you need to have underground power. You've got to think about that for the future. So we said, well, we need power here. So they dug up over six, and they, they dug up underground electrical. They put down over 6,000 feet of, un, of um, two-inch piping underground for electrical service and any type of security cameras that we need throughout the park. 
So they had that vision that they, you need to make sure that you put that in now before, um, before construction is done. So that's all underneath the trails are all underground piping for electrical throughout the park. Um, also, too, um, like I said, Lisa Como, she has been fabulous in helping me in the office. She did the brochures for you that you have today. Um, she helped with making sure all the bills were paid for this project. Um, she's just, she's fabulous. Uh, and the city's fortunate to have her. And like I said, all the, all the DPW, Dave Smith, everyone's been wonderful uh, to help with just to come forward. Everyone's been working late nights, Saturdays, just to get all of this done. Uh, but I, I need a special thank you to all the Lemons Trail stewards. They have been here for a number of years. They first came in, they built trails. You know, first they built trails around the park. They built them up on Gardner Hill. They built them up by the waterfall and all around, and they helped maintain them. Um, so, and they can, they've been coming out and helping with the pavilion out on the, on the little peninsula with a little bridge going over there, so they helped to build all of that. Um, they've come out many, many Saturdays uh, and many, many nights to help us. So the, the community is really fortunate that we have these great dedicated people that give back to the community. So I wanted to make sure that everyone was aware of everything that people are doing behind the scenes. You don't realize it. So I hopefully I didn't forget anybody's no, project. An aunt, an aunt just walked by and that aunt And we have a little bird that has made her home. Okay, we have a is it enough? We just basically why we kept you here for the last 40 minutes is just if you had any involvement in this, small or large, whatever time you could give us, what we really want to say is thank you. So I know there's a long way to say thank you. I just want to ask um, Council Sabatelli and Council Lansing to come up uh, because, you know, I always get my picture in the paper, I always get credit for stuff. These guys, let me tell you, they attend every single event. Um, council Sabatelli, you know, we got two weeks to try to talk to him and to run for counselor again. And I'm not sure. we got two weeks left. But he's had a great, great run at this. A lot of times he, he doesn't mind taking the back seat. But um, today our Disability Commission, because a lot of what this was about, is getting access to every person in the city. That was a lot of what this was about. These things are nice, but a lot of times, to be honest with you, it's embarrassing. We couldn't get people down here. We have an excellent disability commission to help us to make sure that all of our parks that are built now are accessible for everybody. We have refreshments for you. Where are they? The refreshments, the refreshments are in our program building over here. The program here. building up here. Go up the line, up to the door there, around the back. And before and we leave back, here, handicap accessible bathrooms up there yes. as well. And before we leave here, somebody's jumping in those cattle boats. Cattle boats. That makes for a good photo of him. No, I'm not going to. Makes for a good, you look silly wearing a helmet with a tie and walk and driving a paddle boat with a tie. So, so somebody else can do it. All right. Take, we'll do a, a hike? We'll lead a hike right after the river cutting. Okay. So, pick your thing. All right, so we're going to do the ribbon cutting. So, come on up. It's very wide, so we can fit a lot of people into it. I'll tell you what, you stay there. We're going to move the ribbon in front of you, and a few of us will stand. How's that? All right, let's do that. Move the ribbon right here. Right here. How's that? You all going to stand up. We're going to get like a group photo, like a family photo. Come on over here. Let's go. Squeeze it in here. Cooperate. This thing will never end. Cooperate. Bob, where are you? Bob, Jimmy, come on up.